this week I'm only going to be spending $25 on groceries for the entire week to feed my family dinner. Plus, this is my first time making one of these grocery budget challenge videos like this in my slow cooker. So these are all slow cooker dinners. I am so excited. Let's go get to the store now. I'm going to bring you guys along with me and let's fill up my cart for only $25 this week. I'm going to be shopping at Walmart today because most people have a Walmart in their area and there are a few tricks to save money while buying groceries that I have learned over the years. One of them is comparing the prices of meats from the refrigerated section and the freezer section. So today I'm buying a pound of ground turkey from the freezer area because it's a little over a dollar cheaper than the ground turkey in the refrigerated section. Now that I'm in the chicken area, I am going to be buying some chicken chicken for some recipes that I have in mind this week and I can't pass up on this big bag of chicken drumsticks for under five dollars. In this case this is a better deal than the chicken drumsticks in the freezer area. I did compare the prices. They also have this big bag of chicken leg quarters for close to eight dollars but today I'm sticking with the chicken drumsticks just because they're a little less expensive. I made my way over to the canned bean area and I'm picking up a can of black beans or you could get really any beans. I'm also picking up a can of chili beans. Chili beans have like great flavor in them and then beans are considered a superfood because all the plant-based nutrition in them so buying a can for under a dollar is a wonderful deal. Salsa could be kind of pricey at times so I am going to be buying a jar of salsa for two different recipes today and I did end up finding this 24 ounce jar of salsa for a little over two dollars so I did think that was good value for today so I put that in my cart and if you know me you probably know by now how much I just love the flavor of these chicken and herb bouillon cubes. They pretty much make anything taste good so I'm going to be grabbing this eight pack today and I'll find some use for them this week. Next I'm going to be picking up some rice and rice is a healthy staple that offers many great nutrients so I'm putting this one pound bag in my cart and next to the rice section you could find like the dried bean and lentil section. So I have a couple really good recipes in mind. I think that I'm going to be using this one pound bag of lentils for. So I'll just toss that right into my cart. Next, I'm going to be grabbing this extra big can of crushed tomatoes. And while I'm in the canned tomato area, I'm going to be buying a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And there's like a great variety of diced tomatoes. There's like original garlic and olive oil, Italian style, low sodium but for today I'm going to be buying the ones with green peppers and celery with onions in them. I've been craving barbecue sauce so I'm going to be buying a bottle of barbecue sauce and I'll find some use for it. Also I'm going to be picking up a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I like to steam these bags and add a little butter and salt. It really makes them taste great and then you can't go wrong with carrots so I'm buying a bag of them and I'm going to find a way to use them. Onions add great flavor and they're great for digestive health so I just put one in my cart and I think the last thing I'm going to be buying today is a bulb of garlic and hopefully I'm going to stay under $25 with these groceries. Let's head back to my house and let's get to cooking. To start us out this week for Sunday night's dinner, we are having these fall apart tender barbecue chicken drumsticks. So I have my bag of drumsticks right here and I'm going to divide it between like a Ziploc bag and a plate. The Ziploc bag we're having for another night's dinner and the plate we're having for tonight. And I counted and there's about 22 chicken drumsticks in the bag. And when you divide them, there's about like 11 for each dinner. So that's a lot of chicken drumsticks in that bag for only about about five dollars so there is a really great value there. I'll just place these drumsticks in the fridge and I'm going to grab the other drumsticks. For tonight's dinner this recipe is actually in my cookbook on page 165. I'm just making like a variation of it for tonight but I place the drumsticks in my slow cooker and I'm going to season them with salt, pepper, paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder but you could use more seasonings or less seasonings depending on what you have on hand and then the the very last thing I'm going to do is pour one cup of barbecue sauce on top. This recipe is so easy, but I swear these chicken drumsticks are like the best ever. So just add that barbecue sauce in and cook this on low for about seven to eight hours. 
Now that the cooking time is up and the chicken drumsticks are fall apart tender, I have a sheet pan here and I have it lined with parchment paper. Place the drumsticks on the sheet pan and then you're going to pour more barbecue sauce over the top and then just brush it all around so it gets everywhere. Place this in your oven under the broiler for about two to three minutes and this will caramelize the barbecue sauce and make them extra, extra amazing. Here's my plate of food. For extra nutrients, we served our drumsticks with that bag of steamable mixed vegetables. I just added a little butter and salt to that bag, but these will be the best barbecue chicken drumsticks you will ever have. They're so easy to eat because they're so fall apart tender. For the next night's dinner, we are making this salsa chicken and rice. So to my slow cooker, I'm adding the remaining chicken drumsticks in my Ziploc bag. Just add them right into your slow cooker. Next, add in one cup of salsa. You could really use any type of salsa that you like or have on hand. I'm just using the salsa that we grabbed from the store. Now, if you have some taco seasoning on hand, just add in about a tablespoon of that. But if you don't have it on hand, don't worry. You don't need to add it. Just cook this on low for seven to eight hours and on the side I just made up one cup of our white rice just in my instant pot so super easy and then I served our chicken drumsticks over that rice and we like to kind of like eat the chicken with the rice it is really good so this salsa chicken and rice is super delicious it's super high in protein and really affordable for the next night's dinner, we are making these taco bowls. So into my slow cooker, I'm adding three-fourths cup of our white rice. Just add it right in there. Next, add in three-fourths cup of our salsa. And then for the water, I'm using one and three-fourths cup of just regular water. Now add in the drained and rinsed can of black beans. And then I'm adding in about four cloves of our garlic. I just chopped that garlic up into smaller pieces. Now add in a quarter of our onion, which with a teaspoon of salt and then give this a stir. Cook this on low for about three to four hours or until the rice is tender. If you have some taco toppings on hand, like sour cream, cheese, guacamole, or really anything, you could top your taco bowl with that. Or if you don't have anything on hand, don't worry. This is super good without any toppings as well. This has really high protein from those beans. It really is filling and flavorful. Now we're making this lentil stew. So to get it started, I like to clean my lentils. So I'm using a cup and a half of lentils for this recipe, and I'm just going to place them in my strainer and I'm going to rinse them with water. Sometimes lentils have like a little bit of dirt on them just because how they're grown and then you might be able to find like a pebble in them like occasionally. So I just like to clean them. Now I'm going to dice up part of our onion, six carrots and six cloves of our garlic over to my slow cooker I'm just going to add all of these vegetables right in there then I'm going to add my rinsed lentils in as well next add three bouillon cubes along with our can of diced tomatoes then add in four and a half cups of water at this point you could add in any other seasonings that you'd like like bay leaf would be really good in this or really anything I just kept it simple today cook this on low for about seven hours or until the lentils are to the tenderness that you like them to be. My house was smelling so good at this point. Lentils are super high in protein, iron, folate, and B vitamins. If you didn't know that yet, they're just like really healthy for you and they're super inexpensive. So I really like cooking with lentils and lentils are actually one of my husband's favorite foods. He's been asking me to cook with them recently. So this was really delicious. Now we're making this classic turkey chili. So over to my slow cooker, I'm adding in a half a pound of our ground turkey. If you didn't know this yet, you could totally cook raw like ground turkey or raw ground beef in your slow cooker. Just add it into your slow cooker, kind of like mash it up with a meat masher or a spatula, just like this. And then you're going to want to cook it a little bit longer than normal. So next I'm going to add in four cloves of chopped garlic, part of our onion that I diced. And 
and then add in our can of chili beans along with our 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes for the seasonings i'm adding in a teaspoon of salt pepper then two teaspoons of cumin and two teaspoons of chili powder give this a little stir and cook this on low for about seven to eight hours and then once the cooking time is up your meat will be browned and everything will be perfectly cooked Here's my bowl of chili. We topped ours with a little bit of shredded cheese and sour cream, but you could top yours with like crackers or really anything that you have on hand. Or if you don't have anything on hand, just don't top it with anything. This is a really delicious, healthy, high protein chili that is super duper good. Now we are making this turkey and lentil casserole. So over to the pan on my stove, I'm adding our other half a pound of ground turkey in there, along with our remaining diced onion and minced garlic. Break that turkey up and brown it and cook it through. I just wanted to show you, this is another method of cooking up your turkey just before you add it into your slow cooker. In my opinion, this gives it a little bit more flavor just cooking it with the onion and the garlic before adding it into your slow cooker. But now I'm going to measure how many lentils we have left so I just have my measuring cup right here I poured the bag of lentils in there and it looks like we have a little under a cup of lentils left back over to my turkey now that it is browned I am just going to remove it from the stove and I'm going to add it right into my slow cooker next I'm going to add my rinsed lentils into my slow cooker along with the remaining carrots that I had left in the bag there was about a four to five carrots left i just chopped them up now i'm adding in our remaining rice there is about a fourth a cup of rice left in the bag next add in four bouillon cubes along with four and a half cups of water then two teaspoons of salt two teaspoons of pepper one teaspoon of dried rosemary and a teaspoon of dried thyme but you could use any seasonings you like cook this on low for about four to five hours or until your rice and lentils are to the tenderness that you like them to be. I'll be the first to admit this is not the most beautiful meal in the world. It doesn't look gorgeous or fancy, but I did sprinkle it with a little bit of cheese and this really was delicious and super filling. We also had this for leftovers for the next night for dinner just because it really did make a lot. I have so many more videos like this on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.